وَأَقُولُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُوا قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ My extended family expect me to visit them, but they allow free mixing and the girls don't wear proper hijab. How should I keep ties with them? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Keeping ties with them remains an obligation upon you. However, so does obedience to Allah. And this is really the principle I want to start out with, that you still have to keep ties with them. Uh, we've covered this, the, the great importance of keeping ties with relatives and the statement of Allah Azza wa Jal عَسَيْتُمْ إِن تَوَلَّيْتُمْ أَن تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَتُقَطِّعُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ Do you think if you turn away that you will cause corruption on the earth and cut off the ties with your family members? But so does obedience to Allah remains an obligation as well. And there is no doubt that obedience to Allah and to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a fundamental part of Islam. قُلْ أَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ Say, obey Allah and the Messenger. So how do we find a way to combine these two things? That's what we have to do. How can I keep ties with them while still obeying Allah Azza wa Jal? A way that brings them nearer to Allah, keeps you safe, and makes them feel as though uh, the family ties are being kept. So it might be that when they see how much effort you're making to keep ties, that will actually make them reflect upon what's happening. And you can also look for ways that you can avoid or reduce the harm. So visiting them at certain times, invite them to your house instead of going to their house. When you go to the house, um, you can't obviously sit in the, in the gathering with, with the girls who are not wearing hijab, for example. You might uh, respectfully ask them that, I'm sorry, I would have to, to leave uh, because the the girl is not wearing uh, it's not wearing her hijab and it's not it's not respectful for me or it's not allowed for me to stay may Allah bless you and kind words and then they may see from that 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 which makes them change if they're not changing then of course you can't be in that gathering so you know you have to avoid it but that might mean visiting them at certain times it might mean inviting them to your house instead of you going to their house it might mean that you contact them more by phone and so on rather than visiting them and you find wise opportunities just to inform them and educate them that what they're doing is wrong. But the basic answer is you have to obey Allah and you have to keep ties with them. So you have to find a way to reconcile. But no doubt the obedience of Allah obviously comes before everything else. So you can't sit in a gathering where you're disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, you have to excuse yourself from that gathering. But that doesn't mean that you're permitted to cut off from those relatives and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.